Hello Aquarius and welcome back. I'm Fifi and this is Fifi's Tarot Readings. So as the title of the video um, says, uh, we're going to be exploring Aquarius um, reconciliation or possibly moving on. Um, now for those of you that, you know, are kind of thinking about rekindling um, a romance with your person, uh, this video is definitely for you. Um, and we're also going to explore, you know, is it best really to move on? Um, so we're definitely going to explore everything there. Um, for those of you that also are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, uh, where I focus on you and your person, all of that um, can be found in the description box below. So I was doing a quick meditation, Aquarius, and I feel like the majority of you, Aquarius, are uh, quite busy at the moment, focusing on your career, uh, your study, um, your finances, really just to better your life. So, um, you know, keep that up. That's amazing. Uh, but I feel like at the same time, when you stop, and you have time to think <laughs> about other things than what you're doing. Um, I feel like some of you are probably um, kind of reminiscing, uh, longing for your person, though. Um, I feel like I'm getting that there was a lot of love there. There was a lot of love and respect, but something happened. Uh, something happened where now you're no longer talking, and I feel like you're really feeling that absence at the moment. You're really feeling it. Um, for some of you, I feel like... You know, if I had to put in words that there is an emptiness that you feel. What's wrong with these cards? There we are. So um, I'm going to keep that in mind. If I get any other channel messages, I'll most definitely, um, you know, say it. Uh, so let's get straight into it. I do apologize again, Aquarius, if I talk very fast. Uh, it's just that sometimes I get a lot of messages and I want to have this to be a full reading for you. Uh, so there will be no extended. Um, I want to make this, like I said, a full reading and try and get as much information uh, for you as possible. Oh. Aquarius, please, my dear Aquarius, moving on. Reconciliation or moving on? Oops. Okay, your cards really want to jump out so, you now. Aquarius, please. Reconciliation or moving on? Conciliation or moving on. Five of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Four of Cups. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing already from the get-go uh, that there is a, a relationship, a connection with your person. Um, there has been a separation here. It's been quite painful as well. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, the High Priestess, Knight of Wands, the Judgment card. Wow, Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck. We have the Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, now before I go into it, I'm going to add in a lot more cards on top of that so we can get much more information. But I'm saying right now, what I can see that uh, there is definitely a rekindling here. There is definitely the return of someone. So... There has definitely been a breakup here. These are definitely not on speaking terms. Uh, we have the, the Five of Pentacles. If you look here, you know, it's the feelings of abandonment, um, being left out, being left behind, left out in the cold. And we have here the Ace of Cups. Now, I would say this is a rekindling of this beautiful romance, um, you know, self-love and all this, but because it's sandwiched in between the Five of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here, and if you look, she's... This person's not happy at all. Um, I am seeing here broken love, and I keep hearing that, and that's kind of really sad, so I'm sorry about this, Aquarius. Um, but I'm seeing here that um, there is definitely a breakup here. There's a lot of sadness here, though, and I feel like you and your person are kind of feeling that this was a missed opportunity, that things were going so great, and then something happened to you. I'm seeing that there was a breakup. There was a separation going your own way, and you're quite sad about it. And I feel like a person too is like saying, oh, that's a real shame. You know, Aquarius was like my person. They got me. And now we're not talking to each other. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. We've got forward movement. So before I actually go on, I'll tell you the star signs that I see. But remember, the energy is more important though. So I'm definitely seeing here that uh, you could be dealing with uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've also got here the... The wheel of fortune or the wheel could be dealing with a capricorn as well um seeing here um pisces possibly cancer we've got some fire sign here uh we do have the we have the judgment card here so it could be dealing with a libra as well um 
yeah, I'm seeing possibly also uh, Capricorn again. Um, but they want, there's going to be, here. this is all about divine timing here. And, you know, I, I, I kind of feel that there's going to be forward movement with you. Both of you want this forward movement. Hmm. Yeah, it's all about divine timing. I think some of you were meant to break up, though. Some of you were meant to go your separate ways, though. And the, you got the Seven of Pentacles crowning the entire body of the spread. Yeah. Now, for some of you may have thought that it was a bad investment on your part. Um, that you was kind of... I'm feeling that some of you are saying that you wasted your time, though. Uh, that's actually not true, though. Um, I'm seeing here now that you're pausing now. You're looking at everything and thinking, I hope this pays off. And I hope... I hope that if my person comes back, if we rekindle this, though, we can kind of save this relationship. And I, I believe, so far from what I'm seeing, that there could be that possibility here. There, are, There's a lot of things that need to be said. And um, we have the High Priestess here. So I have news and information now coming forward that's going to be revealed to you. And I feel like when your person comes back, though, they have a lot to say to you. And I feel, Aquarius, that you're going to be speaking your truth as well. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands. So they're definitely rushing in here with a passionate message. And one thing that I keep hearing in my mind is that they, they really want to say how much they missed you. You have this lively energy about you, Aquarius. You know, they say sometimes Aquarius is eccentric um, and they're just very different. And that's what they absolutely loved about you, Aquarius. So you always manage to see things outside of the box. You know, Aquarius is one of the most flexible signs here. So, um, yeah, we do have now, as I sit here, we have Judgment, Libra, and we also have Six of Cups. Could be dealing with a water sign here. Uh, so, yeah, I think they have this awakening thinking, I'm in my Aquarius. There is no one out there quite like my Aquarius. And I keep getting that they miss you. They, they, they are missing you here. And that's probably why I'm picking up here with the Four of Cups here. But there is definitely a comeback. I see them coming back around. Um, and we have the Page of Pentacles here. Now, for some of you, it could be an age difference. Uh, if not, though, I, I'm picking up that there's a difference of something here. Maybe Aquarius, you're the eccentric one. Um, and your person's a bit more... Um, serious in you know, other words um that's just an example though um but there is messages coming forth though and i feel like it's first maybe going to come out as a like a text message or an email there's some yeah i'm seeing something online here but they definitely have something to say to you and i i, 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 mean, I sound like a broken record i keep hearing that they miss you it's like they want to say to you, you know, aquarius i miss you I'm miserable without you. I miss you. I keep hearing that. Those three words. I miss you. And yeah, they're definitely coming back though. They do, you know, a lot of people say that the Knight of Wands is, you know, the the player energy and all that. But so far, I'm not getting, I'm not getting that though. We'll see when we get more cards. So this is a basic blueprint of what's happening. But we'll get more um, messages now. So I'm using the Everyday Tarot. One of my favorite decks. Well, actually, they all are. <laughs> they come really quick. All right, now for Aquarius, reconciliation, I'm moving on. So, yeah, the question is, you know, Aquarius, um, do you really, do, you know, how do you miss your person, though? Because I'm seeing here that they definitely do, though. There's a lot of reminiscing. For some of you, there may be children involved as well. Uh, if not, though, um, you know, the message for the Six of Cups is still the same. You may have known each other, each other for quite a few years. Um, you may even start it off as just really good friends as well. Um, but it's a card of innocence here. And, you know, th there's a lot of reminiscing here. They really miss you. They definitely want to come back, though. All right, Aquarius. I'll lay the cards out first and then we will talk about it. Okay. Oh, wow, beautiful. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so... Before I move on, you've got another Ace of Cups, cups on top of another Ace of Cups. So I always say this for those that don't know it, for the first time, you know, people watching my videos. Um, when we get the same cards from different decks, it is the message just affirming the message for you. Now, usually Spirit says, please pay attention. So it's just really solidifying the message for you. You've got the King of Pentacles, King of Wands, okay. Seven of Wands, Six of Swords. Eight of Cups, Two of Swords, King of Cups. All right, we've got three kings. This is beautiful. Some of you most definitely could be dealing with a Cancer as well. Scorpio, Pisces, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups again. Two Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, The Lovers, The Sun, The Hanged Man, Temperance, Five of Swords, Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Bottom of a deck, we have the Five of Wands. 
So, okay, I, maybe for some of you, the ending of, you know, this relationship, when you parted ways, it wasn't smooth. <laughs> I don't know any Indian that actually goes smooth, but you know, there could be a bit of words exchange, you know, Aquarius, we do, you know, you are renowned for saying words that <laughs> hit people hard. Um, I'm also seeing that there could be just people trying to interfere as well. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, this person most definitely um, wants to work this with you now. They actually, they are prepared, prepared sorry, to work hard for this relationship relationship, and prove to you that they really, 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 really want you. There is a lot of love here. They absolutely adore you and they definitely want victory with you. Now, for some of you, not all of you, you know, your person uh, sometimes may have a bit of ego issues. They love giving, getting attention though. That could be in the spotlight. Um, but they want, the, they want that victory with you. They want this to work. And I feel like that's why they're coming back. And, you know, for them even saying... I miss you, but they even might say this, I want this to work. Aquarius, I miss you and I want this to work. So again, here we have, and you saw that I shuffled the cards, we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups again, really solidifying that even though there was a breakup here, you went your separate ways, they want to rekindle this. We have the Ten of Cups, happy ever after. Yeah, they want a second try with this. They want to do it again. Again, some of these may, be, um, may have a family with this person. There may be children involved. Um, you may have your own children, they may have their own children, maybe a blended family. Um, but if you don't, the message is still the same here. They want their happy ever after with you and they really love you. If you see her cup, I'm going to put that really close, is overflowing. And we know cups are all about emotions here. We have the king of pentacles and the, uh, the king of wands. Um, now this is only for um, a small group of you Aquarius you may have also have someone else already that has their eye on you um, you may be already with someone else though um, so you know the question is you know has your past person come back too late though and um, so you may be dealing with earth signs or you may be dealing with a fire sign either way though your person's taking action though because we do have the king of wands and the queen of wands are all about taking action forward movement they see what they want and they go and get it though um but i do feel here that some of these may be on the fence here um you may have your guard up you may be feeling a little bit defensive um over this person though i feel like some of you you know when you kind of think about your person and how it ended uh, about the whole relationship um you know I, I'm, I'm sensing that some of these are quite sad about it um but also you may have your wall up you don't want to get hurt again and we've got the six of swords here now it's good to know that sixes are about healing and healing and harmony is really needed right now um some of you may have moved on and you probably do have someone else if you don't there is someone else that has their eye on you um if you look this person is actually looking back though and so i feel like some of you will be curious to hear your person out um, and I feel like they want to go in calmer waters with you. They want to move on with you. Um, they want to, yeah, they want to move on to calmer waters. Now, I'm definitely seeing here that maybe your person walked away from you. And you probably never heard from them again. Because the only thing we see is this person's back. Um, and now we've got you here making the decision. Do I really want to let this person back after they just walked away? And for some of you, it's like you're seeing that when your person walked away, it was just so easy for them to walk away. Like there was little effort. They didn't fight for you. But we've got here making the choice because the tables have turned now. They are coming back though. Now, like I said, there's a group of you where you already have someone else. Um, if not, this other person is coming back quite soon though. Or for other, others of you, you have tried your best to move on, live your life. Focus on yourself, though. Um, we're definitely seeing here that... Uh, who's revealing all the... We've got strong Cancer and Pisces here. Just to let you know. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign. Um, so this person absolutely loves you, adores you. May not have been the, you know, the best person to fully express this or not really say everything, but this person absolutely loves you. And we've got the chariot here. So again, the choice for you is, you know, this way or that way. Um, but I feel like a lot of these will be kind of entertaining the conversation. Not in a bad way, though, but you do want to hear this person out, though. You do have a history. And, yeah, they absolutely love you. I'm seeing a lot of emotions here. So we do have the Ace of Wands and the Six of Cups again. Now, we did have... There we are. We have the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups. So there's definitely a return here. Uh, they want a passionate new start with you. They know the potential. And, you know, and I kind of feel it's like 
they want things to be even. Now, there's something here that they want to say. You know, it's almost like uh, they want to. Say, uh, that's what I keep getting. I, sometimes I feel the emotions. And I don't have the words for it. Um, they they absolutely. You know, they've been reminiscing. I feel like they want to rekindle what's been lost. They are extremely um, nostalgic at the moment. You've been on their mind quite a while, and I, I got this channeled message that Aquarius, if someone who's been getting weird headaches, those dull, constant headaches, it's almost like it's kind of like a side effect of a person that lists, you know, thinking about you, which is kind of weird. I've never heard that before, though. Um, they're really thinking about you. There's your energy, um, Aquarius. Male or female, gender in my readings does not matter. Um, but we've got the lovers here. Some of these may be connecting with a Gemini. Uh, but the potential is, yeah, the, this is a soulmate relationship. Absolutely. But we do know the lovers are always about choices as well. So the choice is yours, Aquarius. The choice is yours. Um, do you want this person back in your life, though? Now, we've got the hanged man here. Pisces energy. I'm not sensing a delay. I am sensing a pause here where it's like, okay, before I answer my past person, let me just see things from a different angle. Do I, do I actually want this person back in my life? I do see that there is someone else. I'm seeing that there's someone else around you that they kind of want to make a move if they haven't already. But we've got happiness here. I think, Aquarius, you do recognize that this person made you incredibly happy. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. So I'm kind of getting all the star signs. We've got temperance here, Sagittarius. Yeah, healing needs to be restored. Harmony needs to be balanced again. I feel like if you do want this person um, back, um, the ball is in your court, but you want things done differently. You want to take it slow. This is all about balance, taking things slow, one day at a time. Yes, yeah, so we've got the five of swords here. I think your person, they may have said something, they may have done something quite deceitful. I feel like some of these are feeling quite betrayed, though. Um, and I do feel here that there's possible a delay them in coming back, though. Um, but they're thinking really hard, how can I come back to Aquarius, though? Some of these may be at a distance. You had some cards here suggesting that there would be travel involved if you need to see your person, if they want to see you, though. Um, but your ship's coming in here. They are definitely coming back, though. And, okay, so there's a, a small group of you where, you know, they may be connected. They've got the Three of Pentacles here. They may be connected um, through your work, um, through somehow your finances or what you're studying, um, your professional circle. Um, if not, the message is still the same, that they want this team back together. They want to collaborate. They want to work with you on this. Let me see. I'm going to pull out. Yeah, I'm just getting really heavy nostalgic um, feelings here about the past, when things were better. I'm also getting with the sun. I just want to, for some of you, if you have been experiencing some issues with your health, yeah, um, the sun always promises the return of health as well. So that is, that's actually nice. Um, sorry, spirit just wanted me to say that um, for some of you. That could also even be it's just when you're feeling, that feeling, those emotions are just not good. Um, just a bit lower energies there. Uh, but your person really needs, they, they have something to say. Um, you know, we've got the high priestess here. They, there's going to be secrets, information, things that were not said, things that were hidden. They are going to come out. Um, so, you know, for me, this is the choir card. The high priestess is a high choir card where you don't really have to do much. The information is going to come to you. But I definitely feel like both of you will be speaking your truth, though. All right. For Aquarius, one more. We'll do that quick shuffle. For Aquarius, please. Oh, jumping card. For Aquarius, please. Reconciliation. I'm moving on. Aquarius, please. One more. Aquarius, please. sun again yeah there's happiness there is happiness there king of cups again this person absolutely loves you oh ace of pentacles they're coming in with a solid offer and i feel like they're coming with a very mature energy now the nine of cups wish fulfillment again showing me for some there may be children involved ace of cups so I'm feeling the message is being repeated here. Yep. Okay, this is, I'm just saying right now, I don't want to get in over my head, but this is ending beautiful. 
okay so we've got the five of swords here mm, there's something that needs to be cleared up we got the fool the nine of wands high priestess again oh page of cups fast moving um, energy communication we got the five yeah we got the moving one and here we have the God, God, I lost the eight. I'm sorry, I just got tongue twisted there. <laughs> the eight of cups there. All right. So I'm getting two. What am I? Uh, there's a very small percentage of you that will actually choose to move on. Because I do feel like you already have someone else. This is why I got this card. And we keep looking at the bottom and they're still filled with regret. Um, so I do feel that some of these will actually move on and will not entertain this person because there is someone there. And for some of you that do want to move on and that person isn't there, I feel like they're, they're, they're kind of in your energy already. And they keep giving me two months. That's very specific. Um, I feel like this new person will come in your circle within two months though. Um, but for those that actually do want to stay with this person and you feel like, no, I love this person. I want to work through this. Uh, like I said, we have the sun here. We have Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have all of the um, the earth signs there. With a full here, um, we have Aquarius and Pisces. We've got Pisces again, Cancer. We've got more fire sign and more air. We've got all this. They're all on the board, all the signs. This person absolutely loves you. And they will be coming in with a solid offer. Oh, before this gets too messy. Yeah, they're coming in with a solid offer here. And that's why I feel like some of these will choose to move on because the hurt was too much. So every story will be different. Now, as you see, yep, yeah, we got the Ace of Cups twice. So I feel like both of you do want this new start. And I feel like it will be. Um, there will be a rekindling of this marriage for some of you that have been separated and that are married to this person. Um, for others, the message is still the same, though. Um, we have This is my marriage card. It's my marriage card. It's, the, you know, it's all about new. So, you know, new job, new career, new romance. It's the rekindling now. Um, they need to address this, though. There is still a lot of pain here. Uh, about this deceit, about not saying everything, about hiding stuff, just being deceitful. That needs to come to the light. That needs to be discussed, though. Uh, I feel like both of you will take the, take the leap of faith to try and make this work, though. Yeah, your person's been very burdened by this. We've got the wounded worry here. Yeah, but I feel like Aquarius, for you, until they prove themselves, they need to earn their trust back. They need, they have to earn their trust with you. That's when I think you'll also, you know, lower your walls down um, a bit. And we have a high priestess here, again, affirming that um, things need to come to the light, especially with what's happened here. Yeah. We've got a love offer here as well. Yeah, see what we see here. Um, so again, they may be at a distance from you. If not, there was, you know, uh, emotional distance, not talking. But I'm seeing here that there is communication. They're definitely going to, there's back and forth communication, back and forth. Um, yeah. I think they wanted to address this kind of, I'm hearing a brutal end for some of you, which is really sad though. And also they need to address, I'm, I'm sensing that there's too many people around your person. Too many people. And the thing is, Either they have to step up or you're going to move on. Um, this is their desires. They want to move into calmer waters with you. You can see the water here is very choppy and in front it's all very nice and smooth. Now this is what they want with you, um, but this all needs to be addressed first. Um, I feel like that they did something happen. They did something and it spelled the end of this. Um, and I feel like there was a lot of promises of what could be and what should be. And that never happened though. Um, but this is actually looking quite promising. So Aquarius, if you want to know... Um, can this be saved? It most definitely can. Yes, it can be saved though, but they will have to earn their trust with you. They're going to have to earn it and prove to you uh, that you can trust them again. There is a lot of love here though. It's absolutely outpouring for you though. Hmm. Some of you though, uh, I'm seeing a small group of you uh, that you will actually move on because there is someone else there. That's why we've got the choices to make as well. So Aquarius, I hope this sheds some light on your situation though. Um, yeah, you know, about you and your person. But yeah, in the meantime, please, Aquarius, take care of yourself. Um, and I'll see you next week with a brand new video.